You are the new neighbor, isn't it? Yeah, hi. Now, let me tell you the way you should behave in this neighborhood. I'm 35 years here in this neighborhood, and I can't have any changes, right? Imagine you just got your dream job. You are pooping money out of your back door. You are wiping your poop with $100 bills because money has no meaning to you anymore. You're finally at a stage in your life where you're happy, you're financially stable. You just got married or engaged with your wife or husband. You guys just bought a $1 million house because remember, money has no meaning to you anymore because you're rich now. You move into a very nice, quiet neighborhood. You just paid a $1 million for that house. And then a, a neighbor comes up to your ring bell and says, you need to do exactly what I tell you to do in your own house. She comes to your doorstep, she looks you dead in the eyes, and she tells you, I am the nightmare. Now, at the beginning, you might think it's KSI. Oh my God, you're going to be in one of his YouTube videos. He's dressing himself as a 70-year-old woman, annoying woman. But no, it is just a 70-year-old woman who needs to get some cucumba. She needs to chill out. I'm 35 years here in this neighborhood, and I can't have any changes, right? Rule one. Sorry. You'll be home by 8 o'clock in latest. Oh, you thought by just moving out of your parents' house, there will be no more curfew for you? Shut up! The curfew moved from 12 a.m. to 8 p.m. You will never be curfew-free. Now, on a serious note with this uh, situation, if you ever have, like, neighbors like this... There's two types of people in this situation. First, being a person who is going to take this seriously and is going to fight this person. Because let's be honest, no one's going to accept this when someone comes up to you and tells you how you're supposed to live. You're going to just, you know, fake, go face to face. You're going to have arguments with her. No, I am my own person. I have real money now. I'm a grown up now. You, you, you love my mom. You can't tell me what to do. Or the second person who is going to have so much fun with this. I'm telling you, if I was in his situation, I would have so much fucking fun with this. She will be my YouTube intros on daily basis. I will record the random shit that she says. I told you be home by 8, but you are here at 9. And then like a the goofy ass intro comes up, like explosion. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're with Kush. You know what I mean. Now just wait and see the other rules. We're just at rule 1 right now. No walking and no parking your car after 8 o'clock. Clear. So you have a dog and he really has to use the bathroom at 10 p.m. Well, bro, better hold it in because you're not allowed until, I believe, 6 or 7 a.m. Also, if you come home at 8.01 p.m., there's no coming back home. You got to park your fucking car at the mall and you got to walk home. And if you walk home, you got to be really discreet because if she catches you, I don't know what she will do. But from the way she looks, she's going to do. She's going to give you nightmares. Clear. Sorry. Yeah, that's the rule one. Rule two, you can't have guests more than three people at one time. You just got your house. You want to have a housewarming party, invite your family and friends. Show them, make your parents proud of a person that you have become. Well, too fucking bad. Your mom, your dad, your brother can only attend. Your other brother and sister need to stay home because that's the limit. You got to come the next day. Friends, you just got to keep having it day by day. Kind of makes sense, you know? And don't think once you can have three guests, the sky is the limit, limit. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Now nah, you got to whisper to each other. Because if the slightest noise comes out of the house, she will be there waiting for you to mess up and she will give you nightmare. More than three people at one time. Only three. And quite. Okay? You, 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 you this is my house. Yeah, this is your house, but your house is in my neighborhood. You know, her father, her great-grandfather, her, her uncle, they're the ones who own this whole neighborhood. All these houses are actually under their name. So she, she has full right in this situation. And anyone who dared to question the nightmare, they have dealt with the consequences. That's why the neighborhood is mainly empty. I, I believe so. Or... On a real note, on a real note, I've been being so sarcastic with this because I'm having so much fun making this video. But on a real note, I bet none of the neighbors, they think of her the crazy lady. She's not only the protector of the neighborhood, but she's also the clown walking and shushing at people who have more than three guests and they're being so loud. And people just have a good f laugh at her, to be honest. And I live here for 35 years. And I'm not going to have all kinds of people coming to this place to change the rules. You can't. Another thing, you cannot have sex with anybody here. 
because I can hear everything. <laughs> I really died with the. <laughs> Imagine you with you bring a girl home and you're like doing the shakalaka boom boom, and then midway you see her. Uh, what's it called? By the window. <laughs> My cum will go right back in. Now we're halfway through the video. You might think this whole thing is fake. A lot of people say this thing is scripted. But people don't realize what kind of nut jobs do we have all, all around the world. Personally, I don't think this is fake. Personally, I think this is a gold content recorded and posted on social media. Shout out to the person who posted this. Saying you cannot sleep with anyone is wild because she will be watching you. Okay, one question. Maybe she's being all halal, you know, being all uh, Muslim about it. What if we're married? You, can I sleep, still sleep with one of my four wives? Wait, I can't have four now because, you know, the limit is three. So I cannot have more than uh, three uh, people inside the house. Fuck. If you're having sex with any woman, I can hear it and I will come and knock on your door. Does it also comply if he invites a guy over for a shakalaka boom boom? I don't know if that's okay with her or not, but he definitely has to ask before he does it. Honestly, at this point, if you ever move to a neighborhood and you've, if you see her forehead just uh, smashing through your camera and saying, I am your worst nightmare, honestly, hook your grandpa. If your grandpa lost, you know, is a widow... Hook your grandpa with her. She looks like it's been 35 years since she's been like she's been getting back shots. Now, when she mentioned the sex thing, like this is one of those situations where, you know, I don't have real love in my life right now. I don't have a girlfriend or a wife. Inshallah in the future, fingers crossed. I don't want to marry my cousin. But just because I don't have real love, whenever I see a happy couple, I hate on them. I roast them and I tell them to check their check each other's phones. It's one of those situations. She looks like she hasn't been getting back shots, her back broken for 35 years. If you move into a neighborhood, do her a favor. Don't be rude to her. Be nice to her and hook your grandpa up with her. Your grandpa's probably gonna suffer, but he will get some at the end of the day. Okay. okay. Um, what house and do you no live in? Barbecue in the garden. No barbecue in the garden. No uh, part. Well, just excuse me. What house do you live in again? Just next door to you. Okay. But... And from my window, I can see everything you do. Okay. I even have like yeah. No, I can look and I can see everything. Now, leaving sarcasm aside, if she was my neighbor, like I said, I would have so much fun. She's gonna watch me through through her window. Watch me get naked and do the helicopter by the window and she will never look at this direction again. It's absolutely wild someone coming up to your doorstep and telling you how to live your life in your own house. Guests, no sex. Uh, garden, forget about barbecues. You can only, you cannot even use a machine to uh, fix your grass. You need to cut it by scissor just to be quiet. I would literally write down everything she tells me not to do and I will do exactly everything she told me not to do, but double. I feel like she does this to every person who just moves in and everyone just takes her as a joke. Everyone thinks like, oh, this is a neighborhood prank and they just laugh at her face and she's like, no, I'm serious, I'm, I'm serious. And then now she's trying her luck with this new person because she's all about never giving up. And this person just laughs at their face as well. It's literally their house. They can do whatever the hell they want. Honestly, if the music is sometimes too loud, you can just knock on the door and be like, yo, I'm trying to sleep. I have work tomorrow, especially if it's the weekday. But usually neighbors are not like that. For me, I scream at like 3 a.m. once I'm playing scary games on stream. My neighbors are pretty chill. They're okay with it, even though I know sometimes they get annoyed. But I also have neighbors. They all have kids. They all have demons running all over this the, the floor that I'm in. I don't say anything because they don't say anything of me uh, screaming like a girl at 3 a.m. because a cookie monster is running after me. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Kush, what is this new setup? How? Why? What is the reason? Well, as you know, I'm at 12... 
1.4k subscribers some would say that is halfway to being youtube famous and as i become youtube famous i don't want my location to be out there there will be thousands of you coming at my doorsteps asking for a selfie or invading my privacy and i want my boundaries to be respected but unfortunately some of you will not respect it so i decided to take off the outdoors and just show you how the room is now if you want the real answer on why i changed the whole setup i was it was one of those ways when i was having like a midlife crisis moments where i was like just i just woke up and i decided to give it a whole new look to it let me know what you think let me know if this is better or the last one let me know in the comments below also let me know what would you do if you were in, in the guy's situation and if this nightmare comes up to your door but anyways, like always, if you do not click on one of these videos, you're gay. If you do not like the video, also you're gay. Straightness disappearing in 3, 2, 1.